Hey there. Well, Boyo Dichroic had left some comments on Robert Wallace's video that there was a response to my video about the struggles I was going through. And I'm still going through a bit, I guess. Um, and he also made some comments on my latest video. And he also made a video response and talked about how shitty 12-step programs are. And it made me realize, you know, I think I've been lying to myself a little bit. My last video, I think, was me... Uh, trying to get myself to believe a lie. I think that's what was going on. And I, I really appreciate the input that I get from people. Because sometimes in sometimes other people can see something that the person who is explaining something may not see in themselves. So But I think I think I actually was shaming myself for having done weed. And that's stupid. You know, should, should I have shamed myself when I went through these dozens and dozens of different medications for my mental issues? Should I have felt bad for that? Well, I suppose there's some people who, thinks that I, who think that I should feel bad for that or something. There's some people out there. But, you know, um, I'm trying to do something to help myself in some way. I am trying to do what I can to be happy. Twelve-step programs teach that you are incapable of almost anything without some sort of higher power. They teach that if you want to achieve a goal, you have to rely on a higher power. They also teach that if, if you've ever been a junkie, then you'll always be a junkie. And yes, there were periods where in my past I was a weed junkie, with, without a doubt. Um, that doesn't mean I'm always going to be. And I know how well I function without it. So I can never have that thing in the back of my mind saying, oh, I need it. Well, no, it can it can help things. It can also have a hindrance on things because when I first, when I do weed uh, for about 20 minutes, I get kind of panicky and then it's, you know, everything mellows out. Um, but uh, I know that I can do this reasonably but I got these things in the back of my mind saying that I can't and some of these things are indeed the leftovers of 12 step bullshit and uh, didn't help that this this person named MK EM space capital K was pushing this religious bullshit too you know that wasn't helping much. It's really, really awful to me how so many religious people out there, Abrahamic religious people, I'll, I'll be more clear about it, and it's not all, but there's some, who will take any time that they see someone struggling with something or they're depressed or they're down or they're down on their luck as some sort of opportunity to cram religion down their throats. It's using people's misery to prophesize. 
and it's disgusting. It's fucking disgusting. As far as I'm concerned. I am capable of a lot of stuff. I have conquered a lot of things uh, internally that I never thought I could conquer. So I need to turn this this stupid little voice in the back of my mind off that says, well, once you're a junkie, you're always a junkie. I, I need to shut that shit off. I need to turn that thing off. And I need to throw away these stupid leftovers from 12-step programs. As far as ideas or philosophies or ideologies, 12-step programs were probably the most damaging thing ever taught to me in my life. It almost caused my suicide several times, and it took at least five years to recover from recovery. And as I'm seeing right now, I guess I'm still having some leftovers of it. That's how fucking damaging it is. So, anyway. <laughs> 